Well, the situation at a Yonkers apartment building is turning into a nightmare for several tenants and their landlord. Yeah, the landlord says some tenants are trashing the apartments that attracts pests to all their neighbors' units. Our Ben Nandy joins us with more from tenants who are just at the end of their rope and a landlord who says his hands are tied. I'm at the building on Lawrence Street. I got a tip from someone who lives here saying that rats and roaches and flies are encroaching on her family's apartment. The landlord then invited me in to find out why that is happening. And like you told your landlord? Like, yes, you hey, this fourth floor tenant who doesn't want to be named shows me her family's kitchen. It appears a leak upstairs is dripping right through this unit and causing another leak in the unit beneath this one. Her downstairs neighbor, Sierra Goodwin, says the pests are reaching her home. And I'm sleeping and, and I'm mopping every single day and just get too tired. She can't stay ahead of it. I just clean and clean and then I just see something white that's crawling all on my floor and I kill them and then they come back. I bleach the floors, they come back. I don't know what's going on. Everything updated, everything fixed, everything nice, nice. Landlord Jason Stricker says certain tenants are not letting people in their units to make repairs. They're not paying rent and they're not cleaning. There's still uh, rodents and, and animals coming in. He says he's filed eviction papers for as many as 20 tenants living among his 11 buildings. Two of those are from this building. An employee in the Yonkers City Court Clerk's Office says if a tenant has applied for assistance through the state's emergency rental assistance program, that petition needs to be processed before an eviction can even be considered. That can add more than a year to an eviction proceeding. Tenants in New York have that right. Stricker's at a loss. There's no way. I mean, what, what can I do? Can I call a cop to tell them that they vandalized? What are they going to do? Nothing. It's just, I have to clean it, I have to fix it, and that's my problem. A resident in this fifth floor unit where Stricker's trying to evict the leaseholder says he's only going to speak with Stricker through an attorney. He's very unprofessional and we're going to take the proper way. Let's go to the courthouse. When that clerk's office employee explained the eviction process to me, she said not to forget that landlords have rights as do tenants, and that includes bad tenants. Ben Nandy, News 12.